10 top food that helps you slim down your waistline and help you maintain a healthy waist. Our spiritual being needs a functional, well-equipped vessel to live its purpose. That vessel, our body, needs nourishment and care to be able to attain that purpose. When it comes to holistic well-being, I am all about educating myself first, then sharing things I've learned along the way on my journey of becoming a better and healthier version of myself. If you are working on improving your physical and emotional well-being, you're welcome to join my channel and other social media platforms where you can find tips and recipes on beauty and health the natural way. Welcome to Nature to Tea and hop on board. Hey guys, welcome to Nature to Tea or welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about top 10 food to help you lose your belly fat or maintain a slimmer waist. Let me first get this off the plate. I know everyone cannot have the body of Fabio or is he still alive? Or Tiana Taylor, but when it comes to belly fat, it can actually be a sign of some health issues. Having a large waistline is a high risk for heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. If you're like most people and you got a little pooch or whatever, um, it's not a big deal. That's just subcontinuous fat, meaning the fat beneath the skin. So that's not a big deal. But the problem is when you have visceral fat, meaning fat um, that surrounds your organs, the beer belly look, that's a risk factor for um, these diseases that I just talked about. Beside the look of it, which most people don't like, um, aside from that, um, there are some health factors that comes with having a belly that big. Diets are temporary. When it comes to long term, uh, most people on diets fail because for one they cannot maintain that strict diet they are on and secondly when they go back to their normal diet they crash and basically make up for everything that they lost in most cases they gain a lot more weight than they were before the diet so my advice is try to follow a healthy eating habit and try to consume some of these foods that i'll be talking about because they are great at helping you maintain that smaller ways and keeping you healthy as well as helping you manage your weight. My number one food to help you keep that waistline small is green tea. So beside the great antioxidants in green tea, it is also packed with flavonoids, which is a great chemical in helping you boost your metabolism. My number two is lemon water. Lemon is not only packed with vitamin C, but lemons are also great at helping speed up your metabolism so you can burn fat. So here I'm gonna show you how I make my lemon water. And the cinnamon that I add to it is also good at boosting your metabolism. This is the tea that I drink every morning before I eat or drink anything. So this is a good way to start off your day in helping you boost your metabolism as well as helping your immune system. My number three is berries. Berries are packed with vitamin C as well as fiber and they are a great source of flavonoid. My number four is chia seeds. So chia seeds are these little tiny seeds and I did make a couple of videos on my TikTok to show you how to use chia seeds but basically chia seeds can be used in almost anything because they are tasteless. You can even add some in your water if you like. Um, it's a great way to fill you up because they expand in liquid. They're also packed with omega-3 fatty acid. They are definitely high in fiber, which is one of the things that you need to help you not only get rid of some of the waste you have in your body, but it helps your liver be able to metabolize fat. My number five is vegetables. Yes, eat your vegetables. 
Vegetables are not only a great source of vitamins, especially vitamin C, but vegetables are also high in fiber, which once again, you need to be able to carry that waste out and help your liver be able to process and get rid of toxins and also function. My number six is cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is a great source of vitamin C and it's a great way to speed up your metabolism and help you burn fat. My number seven is avocado. They're high in fiber and they also contain that omega-3 fatty acid which helps burn fat. So my number seven is salmon. They also contain the healthy fat and omega-3 fatty acid that helps you burn that belly fat that you don't want. My number nine is citrus fruit. Because citrus fruit is high in vitamin C and vitamin C is great at boosting your metabolism as well as helping you burn fat. Citrus fruits are also low in calories and high in fiber. So if you are into juicing and stuff, um, if you want to consume more fiber, I suggest that you eat the whole fruit rather than juicing it. Um, because when you juice it or drink the fruit juice, you are just drinking empty calories and then you're gonna have to eat something else and then that's like eating more than you should. So eat your fruit as well. My number 10 food to help you slim down that waistline is high fiber whole grains. High fiber whole grains are a great source of fiber. They increase your metabolism and they help decrease the number of calories retained during digestion. So if you're eating carbs like most people do, try to eat whole grain carbs like whole grain bread, whole grain um, pasta, whole grain rice, and try some of the other grains that I talked about in my rice videos. There are some awesome superfood grains that I think you should try to substitute more of in your diet um, as opposed to the starchy grains that we eat like white pasta and white rice and all the starchy stuff that does nothing but expand your waistline. That wraps up my 10 top food that helps you slim down your waistline and help you maintain a healthy waist. So I know everyone can't have that hourglass look, but when it comes to your waistline, it is a determined factor of how healthy or unhealthy you are. So watch that waistline. I cannot talk about all these food that help you slim down your waistline without telling you some of the things that you should avoid. One is the consumption of alcohol. So as we all know, alcohol is full of calories. Alcohol does have an impact, negative impact on your liver and you need your liver while functioning to be able to metabolize fat so that it doesn't stay in your system and contributes to a lot of health issues. So try to avoid alcohol. The other thing to avoid is eating fatty, high sugar, high carb food just before bedtime. So when you eat these food, it requires energy to burn the sugar from the starch. And when you're sleeping, you're not using your energy, guess what? Whatever you eat that's high in carbs and sugar gets converted into fat because you're not burning those calories. So avoid eating these high carb or sugary stuff before bedtime. Another food that you should avoid if you're trying to maintain a healthy waistline is processed food. I also talked about processed food in my previous videos. Um, processed food is full of toxins and junk that your body doesn't need that ruins your liver that makes you gain weight so just try to avoid processed food as much as you can my last tip is avoid stress it is easier said than done but stress is a huge factor when it comes to the types of food that we eat especially if you live in a western world like america um, when you're stressed, your body releases stress hormone called cortisol and this cortisol impacts your metabolism negatively, making you want more food, not just any food, but comfort food. So food like chips, cakes, ice creams, those kinds of food that, you know, would definitely defeat the purpose of the 10 food that I talked about. 
So try to avoid stress at all costs. Try to adjust your life to where you can avoid unnecessary stress. Um, if you have to make a lifestyle change or change in your environment, do so because stress is not only one of the contributing factor in a lot of diseases, almost all diseases, but it can definitely impact your weight and not in a good way. I hope you find this video informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're into health and beauty the natural way, please do subscribe and hit that post notification button so you'll be notified every time I post or upload a video. I appreciate your time. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed evening, day, night, wherever you are. And I hope to catch you on my next video.